In this video, we're making the classic Indian eggplant dish, Bangan Bartha. This dish is delicious, has great textures, and has a great history dating all the way back to ancient India. Let's make this thing. Welcome to Shmindian, my name is Paul Singh and this is Indian Food Demystified, aka Indian Food for Schmucks. Today we're making one of my favorite foods and one of my favorite uses of eggplant. We're going to turn this eggplant into this delicious mush. Bertha is one of those foods that looks gross but is actually delicious. I mean if you look at this, it doesn't look like much. It looks kind of ugly. Sort of like in Empire Strikes Back when Han Solo cuts open the tauntaun and the guts fall out. That's kind of what this reminds me of, but man. It is so good once you taste it. So I'm gonna give you a little background about the dish and then we're gonna make it and then my dad is gonna try it at the end of the video and tell me what he thinks. The eggplant itself is actually thought to have originated in the Indian subcontinent and has existed in some form for thousands of years. There's even an ancient Indian text called the Charaka Samhita where they mention eggplant as an ancient culinary dish. It's also been used as a symbol of protest. In 2011, Indian farmers cooked 754 pounds of Bengen Partha using organic eggplant as a protest for the introduction of genetically modified crops in India. And they took a portion of that Bengen Partha and sent it to the prime minister at the time with a letter as a form of protest. I don't think the protest worked, but I think the prime minister probably had a good meal that day. So this dish is not only delicious, it's also kind of militant. There's also a tradition in the rural areas of India during the harvest season to have a gathering, have a party and serve and Partha at the party. It's a way to celebrate the abundance of the harvest, but also a way to bring the community together and uh, form bonds. Now we gotta talk about the elephant in the room. You know what I'm talking about, the eggplant emoji. We all know that when you send an eggplant emoji, it's supposed to mean, you know what it means. Now the peach emoji, I completely think is accurate. I'm gonna sign off on that. The eggplant emoji though, I mean, it's ambitious. I'll give it that. I just don't know about the accuracy though. Lengthwise, I can see it, but the girth, I mean, I mean, come on. What are we talking about? There's no way this is accurate. There's no way. Girthwise, lengthwise, maybe. Girthwise, come on. What are we, no. And I think it's irresponsible. I mean, in this day and age, no one knows what to trust. The media, deep fakes, AI, eggplant emojis. I mean, no wonder young people have anxiety. I would have anxiety too if I thought this was, you know, what, what it's supposed to be. It's gaslighting. We both know it. And why are we sexualizing a vegetable anyway? It's already delicious. We don't need to add another thing to it. Delicious, militant, sexually iconic. Let's make some bang and bartha. Also, that's also kind of weirdly sexual, bang and bartha. Anyway, we're gonna mix some bartha. And here's our wonderful ingredients. We got two eggplants, one onion, two cloves of garlic, two medium tomatoes, jalapeno, but we're only using half, a lime, but also only using half. 776 frozen peas and one handful of coriander. So the way we're gonna do this is we have to roast our eggplants for about 30 to 40 minutes. And while they're roasting, we're gonna prepare our masala. Let's get started and roast these eggplants. Preheat the oven at 400 degrees. Place these on any kind of baking sheet. And we have to poke the skin about six times all over with a fork, otherwise they will explode. That might be why they're called banging. I just put that together. Unbelievable. We're gonna put these in the oven for 20 minutes. Take them out, flip them back in for 20 minutes. And now onto the masala. First the onion. And we're gonna cut this with the grain in long, luxurious strips. The sweetness of the onion and the boldness of the eggplant is really nice. And back in line. Now for our two cloves of garlic. I'm gonna mash them with this mug. Free them from their paper and just dice the crap out of these. Watch your fingers. And back in line. While we got the cutting board out, I'm gonna cut this in half. Just using that much. I'm not gonna say what you think I'm gonna say that this is. Get a wok. High heat to start, medium heat when it gets going. About a quarter cup of vegetable oil. And in go the onions. In goes the garlic. 
if you ate this spoon, I bet it would taste okay because there's so many years of spices in here. You know, I'm not gonna do it, but... You know. While the onions and garlic are getting to know each other, we're gonna chop up the tomatoes and the jalapeno. And it's been 20 minutes, so we're gonna flip over our eggplants and put them back in. Add in the tomatoes and jalapeno. I almost forgot, we gotta add spices. Two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon turmeric, or turmeric, or turmeric, two teaspoon paprika, two big teaspoons of garam masala, half a teaspoon of pepper. So we're gonna go medium heat and we're gonna cover this for about five minutes. That's gonna kind of break everything down. We're gonna cook all this on low-ish heat for about eight to 10 minutes. So we're gonna mix and mush. We want this whole thing to come together in a nice masala. Stir occasionally, mush occasionally. More mushing, more stirring. This is coming along nicely. I'm just gonna lower the heat and uh, keep things kind of simmering until the eggplants are done. They shouldn't be firm at all. Pause. They should be soft. Also pause. Just gonna transfer them to a plate, just for safety. This thing is very hot. So this is very much like gutting a fish. We're gonna cut at the head, cut down the middle, and then scoop out the insides. This looks like the Tauntaun guts from Empire Strikes Back, but I guarantee you it's delicious. Now we're gonna squeeze in the lime. Same deal as before, about medium heat, and we're gonna stir and mash, stir and mash. And add the frozen peas. Flavors in here are very bold and kind of robust. We're gonna add the chopped up coriander to give it a bit of freshness. In you go. So yeah, it looks kind of gross, but it's actually delicious. Let's plate this up. Usually when I eat a vegetable sabji like this, I'll add a dal on the side to give a little bit of extra protein. The recipe is up in the corner if you wanna make it, but it's really delicious. And I'm gonna eat it with a nice achar and a roti. Even though it looks gross, to me it's beautiful. You know, it really is. It's gonna go in my roti with a mango pickle. Just grab it. Every time I eat it, I'm just amazed at how good it is. It's just a bunch of vegetables mashed up together. But it's so good. The spices get in there and they just become a part of it. It feels meaty, too, for some reason. It feels like you're kind of eating meat, but lighter. I highly recommend it. But don't just take my word for it. Let's see what my dad thinks. What do we have today? What do we have? Perfect today. It is, it is. Looks nice, nice color. Okay. And some pickle, too. Yeah. Could we try some? Yeah. Good, good, good. Can I try with pickle? Yeah. I think it would be okay for most of the people, but if somebody likes spicy food, mm -hmm. so they could use about, I don't know, maybe 5% more. I didn't put any crushed chilies. You didn't put any chilies? No, no, I just used one jalapeno. Oh. I used this much. Yeah, maybe half of that. Another half, so with the whole jalapeno. I have three quarters of that. Three quarters of this? Yeah, about, I would go about that much. Okay, well that's basically the whole thing at that point. Yeah. That, okay. That so one jalapeno. Okay. Yeah. Okay. If somebody likes spicy food. Okay. Otherwise it's good. Okay. Spices are pretty good. The texture is pretty good. And it looks good. Okay. Uh, great. Do you want to finish it or do you want me to eat it? No, I think uh, I'll eat later. Okay. All right. Thanks, Dad. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Good, good job. Thanks, Dad. This has been Schmindian and we just demystified Bang & Partha. So if you like this video and you'd like to see more, then click over there or over there. Have a good day.